Hey there guys, it's been quite a while since I've done a video uh, other than the what's happening in China or China how it is videos. So it's uh, time to do something a little different. Now I received some British ales and British beers from a subscriber about two months ago. Um, that was the last beer package I received and uh, I've decided it's about time I put that video up. So without any further ado, here we go. Hey there guys, it's late afternoon and uh, evening is approaching. I've just spent um, the whole afternoon fixing, you'll see it's red over there. Um, anyway, I've really fixed this scooter up now, I've upgraded the whole transmission so now it's got a much, much higher top speed. Anyway, I'm pretty tired <clears throat> after turning spanners all afternoon and I could do with a beer. Guess what I have? I have a... Come on, focus, damn you. There we are. Wells Bombardier, English premium beer. Right. Um, this is from a subscriber who sent me um, three British beers, and I'm very grateful because although I am British of British ancestry anyway, I've spent most of my drinking years in Johannesburg. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time when I was younger in London and uh, so I didn't get a chance to actually try any of the local stuff. So, here we are. Let's see what it says. Drink of England. Come on, focus, damn you, focus. So irritating. I will get a new camera soon, guys. This camera actually has a, a scratch on the lens. A lot of people keep telling me it's dirty. It's not dirty, it's scratched. Uh, and I think it comes from doing all sorts of funny one-handed vlogs. Anyway, I'll just read you what it says. It says, Drink of England. Brewed in the heart of England, this is a richly rewarding, traditional, burnished copper ale. Bursting with English spirit. Brilliant. Okay. On the back, it says, Our own natural mineral water, the ripest English Fuggles hops. How's a Fuggles hop? That sounds like a really weird. Anyway, Fuggles hops and crushed crystal malt deliver this experience of England in a glass. Peppery aromas give way to the perfect balance of malty richness, tangy hops and sultana fruit on the palate with a long soft spicy finish. Well, that's certainly they certainly have built it up. Let's uh let's see what it's really like. Okay. Let me just uh Get my bottle opener out. Okay. Drink of England, it says. Okay, so let's see what uh, this Wells Bombardier is all about, eh? Mmm. Well, I really need a beer. It's very, very um, bitter. Like a, it's like a stout, tastes almost like a stout. Um, it's very nice, it's bitter. It's, um, it's not as strong as that Speedway stout stuff I was drinking. It's only 4.7% alcohol, which is, um, you know, it's unfortunate about the alcohol percentage, but it is, a, it is a pleasant, definitely a pleasant ale if you enjoy um, a something that's slightly bitter. It's very nice, it's growing on me. Mm. Well, fantastic, that's Wells Bombardier. Let me polish this one off, um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to get on to the next ones. Right, next on the uh, agenda is this um, Maple Moon. Full-bodied, well it says, full-bodied pleasure with a twinkle of maple. 4.8% alcohol. Mystical Maple Ale by Joseph Holt of Manchester. All right, um, it has apparently a silver medal award winner. So silver medal award winner in 2005, championship ales. Uh, see what else we can see about this thing. Okay, it says, focus you bugger. Right, a medal winner at the 2005 uh, International Brewing Awards. This ale is brewed using amber malts 
cascade aroma hops and a glimmer of Canadian maple, which makes it very pleasurable on the taste buds. Founded by Joseph Holt in 1849, the brewery has remained in the family for uh, five generations. It has grown to become a leading independent brewers of traditional ales, uh, proud to be a part of Manchester's history, blah, 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 blah. Well, it certainly looks nice. I mean, uh, I like the way the, you know, like, like the way the bottle looks. Let's find out how it tastes. Okay, it's open. Let's give it a shot and give it a try. Very nice. You know. It's not incredibly different to the one I've just had. Um, however, um, and this might sound a little odd, it does almost have a similar taste to the IPAs I was drinking from America. It's got a little bit of that kind of um, fruity taste on top. Yeah. It's almost like a mix between a stout and an IPA. Um, definitely nice, you know. A little bitter, you know. It's it's not not for the the lager drinker. You know, lager drinkers probably uh, wouldn't enjoy it as much. But I like it. Yeah, that's a good beer. All right, so Maple Moon. Hmm. By the way. Um, it's, uh, it's difficult for me to make a good comparison, you know, between different countries' beers, but uh, I'll be honest, so far, out of the beers I've been sent anyway, the Austrian beer was awesome, um, Canadian beer was awesome, um, and so far anyway, the American and uh, the, the British beer that has been sent so far is it's good, but it's not, not as good as the others. Sorry to say, that's, you know, just my own personal opinion being a an expert beer drinker for years and years. Mm. Still fantastic though. And I'm I'm loving the variety, you know, it's uh this has basically been a very unique opportunity for me to be able to try beers from all over the world. Um and I have to really say to you guys thank you. You know, beer is one of my big uh big hobbies, something I really enjoy doing, drinking beer. And uh you know, I've never really been able to try all these different kinds, and seriously, it's bloody fantastic. Thanks, guys. Right, and we're down to the last one. Um, this is called Old Tom, the original. Robinson's Old Tom, strong ale. It says, the world's best ale. Hmm. Right, and uh, it's apparently uh, World Beers, Beer Awards world's best ale alcohol percentage is 8.5 very nice so it's a great alcohol percentage <clears throat> what does it say old tom is a legend amongst the beers first created by the robinson family in 1899 <clears throat> it is a wonderfully warming dark strong ale with aromas of dark fruit and a palate booming with ripe malt and hops slowly followed by a deep port wine finish not surprisingly, Old Tom has won almost every brewing accolade, including being voted the world's best ale. Drink with caution, but most of all enjoy. <clears throat> it says, see dark chocolate, smell molasses, vinous fruit, taste warming peppery rich. Hmm, says it's relatively bitter and uh, sort of half sweet. Anything else? Best before, blah, 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 blah. UK chief medical officers recommend men do not regularly exceed three to four units daily. And women, two, two, three. And this is 2.8 UK units. Hmm. Well, okay. Robinson's promotes sensible drinking. Okay. Well, I don't promote sensible drinking. I promote enjoyable drinking. Let's give it a try. See what it's like. Let me open it up. Okay, <clears throat> so let's give it a shot. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a good strong stout. Something very similar to, sorry to say this, but it's very similar to that Speedway stout. In fact, it tastes very, very similar, almost the same. Yeah, well, 
certainly a good start. I'd take it over Guinness any day. Um, and uh, it's, it's on par with the Speedway Stout that I had last time. As far as being the world's best ale, yeah, well, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder and uh, taste's in the um, mouth of the taster, I suppose. And uh, as far as being the world's best ale, I call foul on that one. But it certainly is a good, really good, strong, stout ale. Here we go, old Tom's. So, quick wrap up. These are the British ales I was sent. Um, you know, I of course have a soft spot for Britain, having, well, basically coming from there myself. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd still drink definitely best beer in the world's German that I've experienced in all my entire life drinking beer. Out of the beers that have been sent to me, I'm sorry to say, but the Canadian beer is still all the way up there at the top. That uh, La Fin du Monde beer, still my favorite out of all of these beers that have been sent. Um, so if you can get a hold of that, give it a try. It's, it's such, a, such a good beer. It tastes fantastic and it is good. Yeah. All right, guys. So um, till next time. See ya.